Hello, this is the next video in a playlist that I'm calling Applied Multivariate Analysis. And we're in Chapter 2, which I'm calling the Matrix Algebra portion of this playlist. And let's just jump right in where we left off before. Here we're going to look at the product of a matrix and a vector. So the matrix is n by p and the vector is p by 1. So there, it conforms, so we can take this product. So a times b can be thought of as this. Now, if we th this is the first column of A, the second column of A, and the pth column of A. Oh, and one note. Notice that the number's in parentheses. And that really means that we're talking about a column vector that's representative of like a matrix. Now, when we take this product, you know, we take the first row times this, the second row times this vector, and, and so on. But notice that B1 is being multiplied by this first column every time. And B2 is being multiplied by this second column every time. And so if we think about this vector here kind of going to be a row vector and down, that's what it's doing. So it's B1 times this first column, B2 times that second column, and all the way to P, uh, the P component of B times the P column. And this can be thought of as a linear combination of the columns of A. And actually, this is so critical in uh, multiple linear regression the, that, that it's so important here, too, that we take a, a response, it's a vector Y that's dangling out in, in space, and we want to represent it as close as possible as a linear combination of the columns of the design matrix. And that's what we're doing here. Now, as a, an example of this, we can take this matrix times this vector. Now, if we kind of ignore this for a second, we take this first row times this column, and it's 16. This row times this column, and it's 31. But you can also think of it as 2 times this first column, 3 times the second column, 4 times the fourth. Now, these are all vectors. So it's a scalar times it. So you can multiply it in, multiply the 3 in, multiply the 4 in. And then what's left are 2 by 1 vectors. So they conform. So you can add them. And it adds to 16 and 31. Now, let's look at doing this in R. So we assign a numbers to a matrix A. We have a vector B. And we do the A times B. Remember this, this percent, at, ampersand percent is the matrix uh, notation, you know, to multiply. And we get 1331. But if we were to do this using a uh, linear combination of the columns of A, we'd do it like this. B, since it's a vector, we only need one number. That's the first component. A is a matrix. We need two components. The first one is blank, so we want all the rows but the first column, right? So it's B1 times the first column of A, B2 times the second column of A, B3 times the third column of A. Now, it, there are some more options when you're looking at matrices, and one of them is called drop. Now, matrix uh, R tries to be as efficient as possible. So after a matrix multiplication, if it's no longer a matrix, so if it reduces it to a vector or a scalar, it drops the structure of a matrix. So by default, drop is equal to true. But I wanted to keep it in this matrix structure of a two by one matrix, so I put drop equals false. And I'll, we'll have another example with that in a second. Now here, we take a vector times a matrix, and so, oh, notice that the matrix A, there's no parentheses around that one. So that is a row vector, a row vector. So when we take this product, you know, we take this row times the first column, this row times the second column, and et cetera. But notice that C1 is always being multiplied by that first row, right? And that's what this represents. But then this becomes a linear combination of the rows or the row space of A. And as an example, we can take a matrix C transpose, right? It's a vector, so we have to transpose it so it conforms. You know, this is a 1 by 2, and this is 2 by 3, so it's going to be a 1 by 3 uh, matrix or vector when we're finished, right? You could just take this row times this column and get 1. 
this row times the second column, this row times the third column, and get this. Or you could take 2 times this uh, first row, that's what this represents, and then minus 5 times the second row. Multiply the scalar in, and then add the vectors, and you get this. Now, to do this in R, there's a matrix A, a vector B. So we take transpose of B times A, and we get this matrix. Or we could take a linear combination of you know this, the first component of B times the first row of A, right? It takes first row, all columns, second component of B times the second row of A, all columns, and then this is the answer. Notice that when it's a matrix, notice that there's dimensions, there's rows and columns, but this is not. R says, hey, it's no, it's a vector, not a matrix. Drop the structure. So it, it tries to be efficient. So if you put a drop equals false, then it keeps the matrix structure of the, you know, of the product. Now, notice the first one is rows, the second one is columns, and it's blanks. We want all the columns of the second row, and then what's after that are options of this, of the matrix functions here. Now, the last topic are the product of two vectors. So, A times B have to be the same dimension, so they're both n by one column vectors. And this is what's called the dot product, when you take a transpose times B. Now notice A transpose is 1 by N, right? A is N by 1. A transpose is 1 by N. B is N by N. So they conform. We can take this product and it's going to be a 1 by 1 matrix, which is a scalar. And so you do this, you take this row times this column and it ends up being this product, right? The first component, first component, second component, all the way down. But notice it's a scalar. So if you take the transpose of a scalar, it, it doesn't change it. It's still a scalar. But to distribute that transpose in, you distribute it into B, and then but then you have to move it to the front, and you distribute the transpose into this one. So A transpose transpose is just A again. So a transpose B is the same as B transpose A. It's the same answer. And we'll illustrate that in a second. Now, if you take any two vectors and multiply them, so N by 1, so it's a column vector. 1 by P, it's transpose, right? So it's a row vector. And it can be thought of as like this. And to do this multiplication, you take the first row times the second column, or first column, first row, second column, all the way to the pth column, right? We're going to get an n by p matrix. And then, you know, then ultimately you take the nth row times the first column, nth row times the second column, all the way to the pth column. So we end up with a matrix. Now, similarly, if we take A transpose A, so we take the dot product of itself, we get what's called the sum of squares for that vector. Right, and this will deal with, uh, yeah, we'll more on that later. And, but we can also take this, A, so this is a column vector, and this is a row vector now because we transport it. And when we multiply that out, we get an N by N matrix of this form here. And this will play a part when we start looking at covariances and correlations and stuff. And to do this in R... We do this. So we have a vector A and a vector B. And we take A transpose B. So that's going to be a number. But that's also the same as B transpose A, right? The same number. Which, which essentially says take the first components, multiply them, add it to the product of the second component, product of the third, plus the product of the fourth, etc. We could take A transpose B. Remember, this is a column vector that now it's a row vector so it creates a matrix and then we get this and note that if we do that by itself b is a vector of one two three four five six and then we take it times a transpose of b it's actually a quick way to make a product table right two times four is eight five times three is fifteen etc so kind of an interesting note there 
Okay, well, we're at 10 minutes, so I'm going to end this video, and we'll pick up on the next one. Hope you enjoyed this. I sure did. Please like the video and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks. Bye.